from Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained today, the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Skyrim Zimik and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of our country's diversity. Today we will take you to witness the celebration of one of the most auspicious occasions of Hindus. Popularly known as Makar Sankranti, the festival marks the beginning of harvest season and the end of cold and dry days. Though celebrated with different names and ways across various parts of the country, the zeal and enthusiasm of the occasion remains the same everywhere. India got soaked in festive fever as it observed Makar Sankranti, the most ancient Hindu festival dedicated to God's sun. During this period, sun ends its southward journey and starts moving towards northwards. The festival also marks the first day of sun's transit into the zodiac sign Makar or Capricorn. Though observed as harvest festival, its cultural significance as well as way of celebration varies across the country. In cities lining the holy rivers, especially Ganges, millions of Hindus brave the cold temperatures and begin the day by taking a dip in the holy waters. Their gesture is believed to have the power to wash away all the sins. This year, owing to the pandemic, special arrangements were also done by the authorities. At Ganga Sagar, a village on West Bengal Sagar Island, drones were used to sprinkle water from river Ganges to encourage visitors to adhere to social distancing. The Punna ka jo pani hai, wo yahan se pani laake idhar laaya gaya hai. Usko spray kara kiya gaya Punna ti ke upar. Uske baad jo hai yahan pe jee ham log social distance maintain karke 50 aadmi se zyada nahi rehne diya idhar. तो जो आदमी इधर खड़ा था वो चला गया दूसरा बैच आएगा इसलिए जो प्लेस है उसमें सैनिटाइज करने के लिए एक ड्रोन है चारों ड्रोन हमने यूज किया इन स्टेट्स लाइक पंजाब हिमाचल प्रदेश एंड इन द कैपिटल न्यू दिल्ली द फेस्टिवल इज सेलिब्रेटेड एज लोहरी दैट कमेमोरेट्स द हार्वेस्टिंग ऑफ द रबी और विंटर क्रॉप्स एंड आल्सो मार्क्स द बिगिनिंग ऑफ अ न्यू ईयर फॉर द सिक्स The beats of drums and the inviting flames of a bonfire that defy the freezing winds marks the celebration of this auspicious occasion. As a part of the ritual, eatables such as dry fruits, popcorn, sesame seed and molasses are first thrown in the fire and later served to everyone, spreading abundance and happiness all around. Lodi jo hai wo पूरे हिंदुस्तान में पंजाबियों का और बाकी सभी धर्मों का पवित्र त्यौहार माना जाता है और इस समय हम लोग तीसरी वेव से गुजर रहे हैं मैं समझता हूं कि लोड़ी की अग्नि जो है वो पवित्रता का एक संदेश दे रही है जहां हम सब सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग का पालन करते हुए मास्क का और वैक्सीनेशन की ओर बढ़ रहे हैं वहीं लोड़ी के इस त्यौहार पर हम उस परमेश्वर से ये प्रार्थना करते हैं कि वो अपनी इस अग्नि के अंदर इस बीमारियों को ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा जल्द से जल्द राख करे और सब पूरे हिंदुस्तान के अंदर खुशहाली लाए In western state of Gujarat the festival is celebrated as Uttarayan in which kite flying forms an important ritual Hundreds of people gather on their rooftops to fly kites and even battle against each other for aerial supremacy This year to mark the occasion the idols at the Swami Narayan temple in the state's Rajkot city were adorned with colorful kites. Yaha hum aaj ya aaye hai bhagwan ke aashirwad lene ke liye hum har tyohar pe aate hai aaj humne ek alag sangar dekha jo is tyohar se milta julta hai patang ka humne ye bhi dekha ki bhagwan ke hath mein phir ki rakhi hai ye iska ye matlab bhi ho sakta hai ki हमारी जिंदगी की दौड़ भगवान के हाथ में है इसलिए हमें अच्छे कार्य करके भगवान को खुश रखना चाहिए इन तमिलनाडु मकर संक्रांति इज सेलिब्रेटेड एज पोंगल ड्यूरिंग द फेस्टिवल विमेन मेक ब्यूटीफुल रंगोलीज कुक राइस एंड मिल्क इन अर्दन पॉट्स एंड वॉच इट ओवरफ्लोइंग
After adding freshly harvested grains, it is offered to God's son, which is considered as a sign of abundance as it brings fortune to farmer's life. We are celebrating Pongal today, Thai Pongal. Uh, during this pandemic situation, we can't go to our friend's home and give the Pongal by preparing it. Uh, we, we can only celebrate by sending photos and messages to, uh, to our friends. Uh, so be safe. Uh, next year, at least next year, we must be celebrated by whole world will be celebrating this Pongal. Now, if you pan towards northeastern India, the festival is observed as Bhogali Bihu, especially in Assam. During the occasion, people erect a traditional bonfire called Mechi, a house made of straw, and burn it during the celebration. Various types of rice cakes and other sweets are also prepared during the festival. यहाँ सुबह उठके हम लोग नहा धो के हैं मतलब आके मिजीगर में आके पूजा करते हैं और मिजीगर जलाते हैं फिर फिर मतलब इसको फिर सभी लोग एक साथ भोज करते हैं यहाँ पे बहुत तरह का पकवान बनाया जाता है पिठा बोलते हैं हम लोग यहाँ आसाम में पिठा बोला जाता है तो उसी के साथ और एक एक खास एक पकवान होता है हैं उसको बोलता है कि मतलब टोपला भात इस इस मतलब बिहू का एक खासियत है कि लोग टोपला भात बहुत खास मतलब शौक से खाते हैं मकर संक्रांति इज नॉट ओनली अ फेस्टिवल बट आल्सो द सिंबल ऑफ लाइफ व्हिच शोस द इनक्रेडिबल डाइवर्सिटी ऑफ कल्चर्स एंड ट्रेडिशंस इन इंडिया as entire nation welcomes the harvest season amidst the freezing temperatures and frosty nights and fog this festival brings warmth of joy and happiness India is a country where Sufism has not just flourished but has also become a way of integrating different religious communities even today the teachings of these saints inform the lives of people and act as guidance force for many. Today we will take you to one such shrine in Rohtak city of Haryana which has been acting as a symbol of religious harmony for years. Situated in the Rohtak city of India's northern state of Haryana, the shrine of Bhure Khan Baba has been serving as a sign of religious harmony for generations. Whether one is Hindu, Muslim or from any other religious community, the shrine is equally visited and revered by people of all faiths. Baba ke darshan karne ke liye aayen. Jaise dil ki sharda hoti hai, waise aate hain. Baba ke din, birwar ke din aate hain. Baba ki maanata rehti hai. Baba ka aashirwad rehta hai. Isliye aaye birwar ko aate hain Baba ke darshan karne ke liye. Jiske bigde hue kaam ban jate hain. खुश हो रहते हैं तो बाबा के दरबार पे आशीर्वाद लेने के लिए आते हैं इसलिए बाबा के चरणों में अपना मथा रखते हैं और बाबा कृपा करते हैं इट्स बीन सेड द सेन फुलफिल्स द विशेस ऑफ ऑल एंड नोबडी रिटर्न्स एम्प्टी हैंडेड फ्रॉम हिम फॉर्मिंग एन इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ पब्लिक इथोस फॉर द लास्ट सेवरल सेंचुरीज Even today, the Sufi traditions play an important role in the lives of the people and connote them with an understanding of the world and all its spiritual dimensions. So, Bhagwan to sab ke liye barabar hai na? Ek hi hai Bhagwan to. Ham church mein bhi jaate hain, dargah mein bhi jaate hain, mandir mein bhi jaati hoon. Har jagah jaate hain to. Insaan to insaan hai na? Isme Hindu Muslim kya hai? Sab barabar hai. The way message of brotherhood and bonhomi comes out loud from these dargahs proves that the lesson of humanity and compassion that was once propagated by Sufi saints is still having its roots deeply embedded in the culture and traditions of the country. Now a round up of some of the major stories that made news recently. A huge number of Hindu devotees bathed in holy rivers in India's northern Prayagraj city as they mark the beginning of Magh Mela, a festival celebrated in the Hindu month of Magh as per the Hindu calendar. Devotees in large number thronged Sangam, a confluence of rivers Ganga, Yamuna and mythical Saraswati to offer prayers at the fair. कोविड का सारा जो रिस्ट्रिक्शंस है या फिर जो भी कहा गया है कि मास्क पहनने के लिए वैक्सीन लगाने के लिए तो अगर ऐसे करके लोग आए और मेंटेन करें सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग तो ऑब्वियसली रिस्ट्रिक्ट हो ही जाएगा 
ki Magh Mela that begins every year in January is considered to be an auspicious time when devotees from across the country reach the fair to bathe in holy rivers, wash away sins and grant salvation from cycle of life and death. Bollywood actors announced the Dada Sahib Falke International Film Festival Awards 2022 in India's showbiz capital, Mumbai. Panelists including veteran actor and host Anu Kapoor and actress Urvashi Rautela showed up and addressed a news conference as they announced the award. Because popular heroes are also getting millions of crores, but this platform is for those people who are very hard and 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 hard. Dada Sahib Falke Award is considered India cinema's highest award in New Delhi. It is named after the father of Indian cinema, whose Raja Harish Chandra was the first Indian movie released in 1913. A non-governmental organization in India's southern Bengaluru city is providing food to the attendants and relatives of patients who are coming from different parts of the country and staying outside hospitals. Founder of the NGO Roti Charity Trust, Sayed Gulab has been serving meals to the poor for the past six years. Three-four big big hospitals. So what is the problem here? This is a government hospital. Here come people from the poor people who come for their treatment for about two months, three months. Those who come and take the money, all the people who come and take the money, they also get the money from the town. They ask the money from the town. Now the people who eat the money for one time, they don't have the money for the other time. Now what is the problem? We have been giving the money for six years. We have been giving the money for two years. What is the problem? It will be possible. Earlier, it was only breakfast, but Gulab has been able to arrange lunch as well for the attendants, with around 300 packets of food being prepared each day, even amid coronavirus pandemic. Till date, Gulab has been able to serve around 800,000 people. And now we will take you to Rajouri district of Jammu and Kashmir, where the Urs of Al Hajj Molana Dil Muhammad Sahib brought together devotees of different faiths. Take a look. The shrine of Sufi Saint Alaj Maulana Dil Muhammad Sahib located in the Rajori district is an abode of peace and tranquility. People cutting across all religious lines gathered at the shrine to attend the ninth hours of the Holy Saint at his Muslim. Men, women and children offered special prayers at the shrine and wished that the entire world copes up from the loss suffered due to COVID-19 pandemic and peace and tranquility prevails. This year, it has been made in a good way. The corona-wabas and the other wabas that are in the same time have been given to them. ان کے خاتمے کے لیے دعائیں کی گئیں ملک و ملت کے آمن اور سلامتی کے لیے دعائیں کی گئیں اور آپس میں آمن اور بھائی چارہ کی دعائیں کی گئیں یہاں پر ہر مذہب کا بندہ یہاں پر آتا ہے علماء اکرام کی اور صوفیاء عظام کی جو تعلیمات ہیں وہ یہی تعلیمات ہیں کہ ہر ایک کے ساتھ خندہ پشانی سے کام ملا جائے Forming an integral part of the public ethos for the last seven centuries, even today, the Sufi traditions play an important role in the lives of people and connot them with an understanding of the world in all its spiritual dimensions. To mark the occasion, priests and Sufi scholars gave sermons and perpetuated the teachings of the Sufi saint. ہر سال کی طرح اس سال بھی یہاں پہ حضرت علامہ مولانا دل محمد صاحب کا جو ہے عرص منایا گیا ہے جس میں کافی کثیر تعداد میں لوگوں نے شرکت فرمائی ہے اور آپ نے دیکھا ہوگا کہ دعائیں کی گئی ہیں یہاں پہ امن سلامتی کی وبا سے علاقہ کو پاک کرنے کے لیے دعائیں کی گئی ہیں تو اس میں کافی کثیر تعداد میں لوگ جو ہیں شامل ہوتے ہیں بغیر کسی مذہب و ملت رنگ و نسل تو لنگر شریف کا بھی اعتمام پورا کیا جاتا ہے یہاں پہ ہزاروں لوگ جو کھانا کھاتے ہیں the Urs commemoration of the Sufi saint and the number of devotees coming to the shrine clearly indicates the lesson of humanity and compassion towards all religious communities are still having its roots deeply embedded in the culture and traditions of India. Moving on, next we move on to Jammu and Kashmir where the administration is eyeing eco-tourism promotion. As the territory's beautiful mountainous landscapes and lush green forests have always enticed tourists 
Forest Department has started a special training program for its employees to improve their hospitality skills and provide the best services to visitors. The COVID-19 pandemic has led many city dwellers to flock to rural areas to self-isolate around nature. This migration has come up as an opportunity for hilly areas to give boost to ecotourism. And the Forest Department of Jammu and Kashmir is fully utilizing it. From identifying various spots to developing new trekking routes, the department is making every effort to promote ecotourism. In this recent initiative, a special training program has been organized for its employees to cater to the demand of the tourists visiting the forest rest houses. Held under the supervision of the Indian Institute of Hotel Management or IHM Srinagar, the program is aimed at imparting a basic skill set to hospitality staff of the forest department. Our department has made a lot of forest rest houses. We have trained staff to train staff here for eco-tourism. So that the tourism department has got help from the guests. उनको हेल्प मिल रही है फॉरेस्ट डिपार्टमेंट भी चाहता है कि हमारे हार्ट्स में भी वैसा होना चाहिए जिस तरह वहाँ पे हमारे अच्छे फॉरेस्ट फॉरेस्ट रेस्ट हाउस जो हैं बड़े अच्छे हैं उनमें काफ़ा काफ़ी पैसा लगा हुआ है हमारे डिपार्टमेंट की तरफ से अच्छा डेकोर तो लोग प्रेफर कर रहे हैं आज की डेट में सर कि फॉरेस्ट फॉरेस्ट डिपार्टमेंट के रेस्ट हाउस को ही कि मैं ही जा, जाएँ क्योंकि वो सर उसमें अच्छी फैसिलिटीज़ हैं तो इसलिए इसलिए डिपार्टमेंट डिपार्टमेंट ने भी हमें यहाँ सर भेजा हम ट्रेनिंग करके यहाँ से वापस जाएँगे the training session covered both theory and practical classes. Besides upgrading the skill set of the forest staff in the area of housekeeping, catering and front office management, the training also covered culinary skills including confectionaries and other local delicacies. From giving tips on chopping, peeling and grating to making the proper use of spices, attention was paid on every minute detail so that tourists can avail the best of services. The forest department they are watchmen and guards. So they are taking care of guest house. So guest house में जो training ये ले रहे हैं, वहाँ पे जो guest house में ये वहाँ पे guest आ रहे हैं, उनको ये suitability और उनको जो best comfort दे सकते हैं वो, वो तब दे सकते हैं जब इनको एक training मिल जाए. How to um, the process of bed making and how to learn about a, a, a normal cooking procedures. So, in sab se kya hoga? They are well versed, but ye seekhne se ye updated ho jayenge. Or updated hone se kya hoga? Koi bhi guest aayega, uski comfortability level high ho jayegi. Usko acha lagega wahan pe stay karna. Such initiatives being made to promote ecotourism will not just glorify the offbeat destinations along with their rich culture and traditions, but also bring a revolution in the tourism industry of Jammu and Kashmir. At last, we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in a section of World in Focus. Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power station has to be inevitably discharged water into the sea which is treated by advanced liquid processing system. Professor Tadashi Narbayashi is an expert of nuclear engineering who gave insights into the treatment and disposal of water. え、物質までですね、地下水に溶け込んできてます。これらのものはですね、科学的な処理をすることによって、ほぼ問題ないレベルまで、え、取り除くことができてます。いろいろな膜を使ったり、薬品処理をしたり、ま、最終的にはこの
Hundreds of horses competed in a beauty pageant in the second edition of the Saudi Arabian Horse Festival, Ubaya in Diria. When we see this activity and this activity on a national level and on a national level, the presence, of all the colors and colors, women and women, all the ages of the age, the support of the government the beauty pageant and international competition for pure breed Arabian horses class B is one of the activities of the festival. It offers various prizes in different competition categories totaling to 2 million Saudi rials. Tokyo Electric Power Company is taking forward their plan to discharge ALPS that is Advanced Liquid Processing System treated water into the sea from Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power station in the near future. The water contains tritium which cannot be removed from the water. What effect does this water have on human body? Professor Narbayashi explains it. <laughs> たくさんあります。で、これは高感度の放射線検出器で食べ物、放射線え、理解をしています。体の中の取り注文の量がこの放出によって変わるということは起こり得ないということで、ま、生態的な影響もこのレベルであれば考えられないというふうにあの理解できるかと思います。日本人の男性の場合、発がん原因の3割がタバコ、
After leaving the breeding center, the animals were airlifted by helicopter into their new habitat near the Sierra Negra volcano, home to four giant turtle populations. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia at nin.com. I'm your host, Skyrim Zimik, and it's goodbye from the entire production team. Yeah.